Hey guys, this is Radio again, um, here with another tutorial, this one on the, wait for it, audio tab. Um, so you go into preferences, this is your audio tab. Uh, what you'll see, it, this one's much simpler. Um, you have a choice of channels, mono or stereo. Um, if you have stereo output, I highly recommend that you use it. Uh, that means that you will record in both left and right sound, meaning that when someone views your stream, um, any sound that has uh, any game that has sound coming from two different directions, say um, you're walking past a doorway and there's an explosion inside of the doorway, you can you know that sound would come out of the left speaker because it's on the left side of your body. Um, someone viewing the stream would get that same effect. It you know it's not it's not all important, but it's cool. Let's face it, and, uh, you know, works really well for people with awesome surround sound systems. God, I have to get one of those! So, um, at all times, uh, record in stereo if you can. If you have stereo output, again, it's not going to make a difference if you don't have it. Um, target bitrate is uh, the quality of the sound coming out. Um, 64 is standard internet streaming quality. It's, uh, it's a nice safe bet. Um, because it won't require that much higher kbps 128 is cd quality which uh, can be somewhat taxing on your system and 320 is uh, uber quality that's like uh, recording studio quality uh, it's going to require a, a lot of upload I, i've never tried it above 64 honestly um, but that's just because i'm lazy i'm not sure what sampling rate does um, ask an audio guy i don't really I don't really care, and I've never really used the meter standard slow mode. What I have used is this little check mark right here, um, adjust recording volume automatically. For the love of God, do not record adjusting the volume automatically. It's fucking bullshit, okay? What it does is, um, well, here, let's open my audio mixer, and I'll show you. What it does is if you do auto mix, it tries to um, level uh, one input with another. You see I have two sources here. There's my default input device, which is my uh, microphone, and then there is my speaker's audio, which would be my game sound, right? Well, if I am talking significantly louder than my game sound, it's going to try to bring me down, and it's going to and it's gonna like keep the game sound constant. The problem with that is that it's not immediate. It, you know, it's got to try to search for the right levels. So it'll make your voice fluctuate up and down. If you're screaming, then it'll bring the voice way down. And then when you get to a normal volume, it takes a second to get the voice back up. It comes with all these fucking problems. Just don't fucking do it. Auto mix is so shitty. Um, other than that, you can add sources, uh, which I've never had to do. All you need is your speaker audio and your input device, your microphone. Um, Anything other than that, you're just kind of playing with yourself. Um, you can do your master volume here to make it all much louder, which you probably don't want to do. Uh, or you can equalize. Like if my if my microphone is consistently higher than my speakers, uh, I can bring it, which it typically is because I'm a loud person. You all know this. Um, I can bring the volume down to here from my microphone, and the speakers remain at a constant right here. So um, you know it's a nice way. Really, you just you need to experiment with it. Um, have someone in your room with you, or not in your room, in your, uh, viewing your stream, you know, get to the right levels, and then, you know, leave them there. <laughs> the right levels are the right levels for you. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. We can close the mixer. Um, I can show you how, in real time, when you stream, uh, the audio mixer shows up on the bottom bar, but it, you know, it's kind of pointless. It'll show up right around, right around, uh, no, over here next to the stop button. And uh, it just says mixer. You click on it, and it comes up with uh, the same mixer, so you can do it in real time while you're streaming. But um, other than that, that's all there really is for an audio tab tutorial. Thanks.